From the surface, she doesn't look like much, just an area of weeds and some broken planks. Ninety years ago, however, the paddlewheel steamboat Albany was quite a sight to see. A U.S. government snag boat, she operated on the Apalachicola, Chattahoochee, and Flint Rivers from around 1928 until 1959. Her mission was to keep the river channel clear of snags and fallen trees from Apalachicola on the Gulf of Mexico all the way upstream to Columbus on the Chattahoochee and Bainbridge, Albany, and even Montezuma on the Flint. Still afloat as late as 1959, the Albany was tied up and abandoned at Chattahoochee a short time later. A river flood lifted her to the top of the high bank near the mouth of Mosquito Creek. When the water went down, the Albany remained. Many residents of the Chattahoochee and Sneeds area remember the novelty of seeing her there, a paddlewheel steamboat high and dry. Children even played on the decks and explored the empty cabins of the virtually intact steamboat. The Albany slowly deteriorated over time, however, and all that remains today is the hull and lower deck. The wreck is on private property and not open to the public. Two Egg TV obtained special permission and assistance from the owner for our visit. The wreck is buried in sand and weeds, but beneath the surface, part of her is still there. A cautious peek up through the hole in the wooden hull reveals machinery, steam pipes, and the steel frame of the vessel, as well as intact wooden beams and planks. The Albany is one of an impressive number of wrecks to be found along the banks of the Apalachicola River at Chattahoochee, Florida. The presence of the skeletal remains of so many paddlewheel steamers and historic wooden barges there has led researchers to dub the area Florida's Inland Graveyard of Ships. At Chattahoochee, Florida, I'm Dale Cox for Two Egg TV.